Bob Warfield here. Just wanted to give you a quick demonstration and tutorial on GWizard Editor's new file compare command. We recently did a survey of our customers to see what command they most wanted us to add to our GWizard G-Code Editor and Simulator. And what, when the vote, votes were in, the answer was a file compare command. So here you go. We'll bring up GWizard. And first thing is, let's open a file. I like to use this uh, panel engraving file for a lot of my demos. As you can see here, it's just a, a pretty straightforward uh, G code program straight out of my uh, 1CNC CAM package. Uh, it basically is intended to uh, finish and engrave uh, an aluminum. Uh, back panel for my CNC controller where all the different connections plug in for the different axes and the coolant and all of that sort of thing. So let's say we want to do a file compare on this file. And so we go to the file menu, bring up compare files, and here's our new file compare command. And basically the way it works is we come over to select what file we want to compare it to and so I've got a number of different variations on the same file. Here's one where I've converted the centers from being relative to being absolute that I'll bring up. Okay, And so we can then just simply go through and find the first difference which is highlighted over here on the right. And the way to think about this is, is what the file compare command is telling you is what do I have to change about the first file to get it to look just like the second file. So in this case, items in red are items that you would delete from the first file, and green are items you'd add. So what it's saying is that for this N400 block, that second file doesn't have uh, the I or the J, because it's running absolute centers, uh, and it's already at the right position to, to not need those. Uh, or likewise, on this second line, uh, there's a different value in place, uh, so you're going to delete the minus sign, uh, you're going to delete uh, uh, the 1, 2, it's going to be 0.375, uh, and you're going to delete the J0. So that's basically uh, what you get. It, it just lets you tell very quickly, okay, what are the lines that actually got changed? Uh, from one file to the next. We can hit next diff and you know skip along from line to line of changes and in that way you can get an idea of you know what the heck's going on. Now since it's since it's using the current file you could even use it to go out and you know say you just made some edits to uh, rear panel engrave and you're thinking about saving them but you want to just kind of double check what you did. Well, just bring up File Compare, and, and, and instead of browsing a different file, browse the same file that you haven't saved, and it'll show you what changes you haven't saved yet, uh, uh, what the differences are between that and the file before your changes. All right, so that's what I have for you today. That's the uh, GWizard G-Code Editor File Compare command. Thanks.